But what I'm showing you in my drawing that is in front of me right now with the mountain is that when the, and we know this, when the artist moves, the horizon line moves too. And maybe I'm confused thinking, I guess I am, that there are two horizon lines because you said there isn't. But yet when the artist moves, that horizon line changes. So that's where I'm confused. Yeah. That's where yeah. I'm confused. But they're the artist's horizon. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas earlier in another Zoom meeting we had, the horizon line was the sky and the earth. Well, that, because it worked out to be that way. When you, stand, when you stand in the ocean, it's like the sky and the earth come together. And if you have mountains that come down to a meadow and you're standing on the meadow and you're looking across like that valley, then you do have this sky and the earth coming together. I conclude from this still at this point that there are two kinds of horizons. There's the artist's perceptional one and then there's the one of the planet and the sky. You can hold on to that until <laughs> I mean, this diagram shows it, right? We're not looking at the horizon of the planet in the sky. We're looking at wherever the artist is, that is a horizon. It's a perception through the artist. But it isn't necessarily the one of the planet. Where in here is your horizon? If, if what you state is true, where is it? I don't know. I can't see it because of the mountains. I mean, you only really see it when there's sky meeting the ocean or the sky meeting a tabletop how often plane. Do you, how often do you see that? Only if I'm there, which I'm not. Yeah. yeah. Collectively, as a culture, we know there's, we're taught, right? That's the horizon. But now we're in the world of art. Let me take this one step further for you. Okay. We're going to draw a person. <laughs> and there's his little body, there's his little feet, little cowboy he's got. Oh, he's got there chaps on. <laughs> yeah, he's got chaps on. Okay, so there he is. Happy little cowboy. Okay. And he's sitting, he's sitting on the, the ocean. This is the beach here. And uh, he's looking out at where you say the earth meets the sky. Now that, that's your perspective, right? So this is the sky. So let's take this line and let me change that to this, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, how tall is this dude? Oh, let's say he's five foot 10. So five foot 10, okay. So yeah, because his perspective is five feet ten from the land up to here? Right. Yeah, and literally, the horizon line is five feet ten inches at the very end of this because that's where his horizon line is. It's all about where the viewer's eyes are. If you had a toddler on the beach with you, and he's only twenty-four inches tall, then that's his horizon line would be probably nearer or whatever you can't tell because it's the ocean but yeah his eye line would make make it different than what yeah. the five foot ten person would be while they're here yeah right? yeah and he's looking at yeah his horizon line now is down down here, here. right and he's seeing the world completely different can you have two horizon lines you can't say whether well, there's a horizon for him and a horizon for the bird yeah okay and that's his but that's his reality it comes out of his eye yeah, he can't see for this kid. This kid can see for this. And all we can see is what we see. Okay, so there is one horizon yeah. line, and it's all dependent on who's looking at it. Our horizon line is what counts. Okay, 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so